Come on, Chloe, let's go. These times have been, how shall we say, complicated. For some people, especially in certain areas of the world and of our own country, these times have been tragic. And we keep everyone afflicted by this virus in our prayers. And maybe we're just trying our best to make some sense of normalcy in the midst of events that are unprecedented in our lifetimes. So many of us are cooped up, unable or unsafe to move about. Others bravely head out to serve others in essential things. And it's so painful for all of us seeing this unfold and people suffering in so many ways. But I remain convinced of one inescapable reality. In the midst of change and trial and isolation, We are not alone. Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us where we are. And there's a whole reflection we could do on that reality alone. And then there's the amazing benefits that technology has given us to remain connected. But for today, I want to offer one more thing. Scripture teaches us that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses saints and the angels, they're praying with us. They're praying for us. They're cheering for us. And those saints, they've been through moments like this before. I think of someone like St. Charles Borromeo, who as a bishop had to make the painful decision to close churches for several weeks so that his people wouldn't get sick from the plague. Or someone like St. Damien of Molokai and St. Marianne Cope, who served those who were isolated the lepers, as best they could, as Jesus called them to serve. And so many more. I I have to believe that the saints, this great cloud of witnesses, are cheering us on. Think of the loudest crowd in a football game. But so much more. Cheering for us. Praying for us. Urging us forward to love as deeply as we can. To follow Jesus as best we can, as they did. We are not alone. We are part of the body of Christ. And in the midst of the darkest time that the world has ever known, Jesus still knows. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. All you holy men and women, the great cloud of witnesses that has gone before us, pray for us.